Hi everyone, welcome back to Sticks and Stones Wood Carving, and we're doing drawing videos this week on how to capture on paper our wood spirit and try to make a pattern out of it before we actually carve it to give us some reference point and something to look at while we carve so we get it in our head, you know, the dimensions and the depth and the actual uh, face that we want to put on whatever piece of wood we're using. So I'm going to get right to it. I got a piece of paper here. I got a pencil. We did a couple other videos uh, on this already this week. I'm probably going to make pretty many of them because I think this is an important point to cover. A lot of people don't know what to carve or can't get it in their head before they actually carve it. So this is a good way to help you get a good start. Okay, so just follow along. I'm going to make another face that you guys can use. And then again, like always, I'll show you the carving that I made out of this uh, particular character at the end of the video. Okay, so I'm going to start with starting a nose. So I'm going to come down just like that. Come on this side. Just like that. Okay. Right about here. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Okay. Now at the top of the nose right here, is where I would start making my eye. All right. First, I put one, and maybe come back in and do another lid, straight across like that. Now, at the top of that lid, about right here too, you can always do a little V cut here. All right, and then right here, you do your other eye. All right, you come down a little from here. Now this part right here, you can just bring right into there. Pretty easy to draw, okay? It's not, it's not anything super fancy. Come down, go up. Same thing on this side, we're just going to take right in the corner here. And we're going to try and keep it fairly symmetrical. And then we just give them pupils. One and two, okay? Now, from the nose over here, we'd always have them deep lines on the inside. You know how uh, they look. So we're going to put a smile line about here. Okay? This one right here. Same thing. We're just going to bring it down. Now, I usually form a cheek here for this guy that I'm drawing. I'd form a little cheek right there. And the same on this side as I just bring this up. Now this cheek we're going to continue, we're going to go all the way up to about here and then we're going to come down and try and get it to match up with that other cheek about here, okay? Now right from up there we can start our mustache because right around in here we're just going to continue that down and we're going to bring it down. I use this on a cottonwood bark a lot. I'm going to make a little uh, jagged lines for his mustache in the pattern anyway. I mean, you could do this any way you want when you're carving it. Or you could draw it straight up. But I like to give it a little bit of motion. So it makes for a more interesting picture and carving. And that's how I'm going to do his mustache. Okay. Now over here, up in here, I'm going to bring that in. And then make it meet up here okay of course he's going to need a lip so we'll figure out where we want to put his lip yeah you know, just draw a little line like that for a lip and of course at the top you would make his mouth well, he's starting to look like somebody already all right come up here we're going to give him one two, three wrinkles in his forehead. We'll make his eyes a little bit more interesting by giving him some bags. And right about up in here I would start maybe uh, if I had an interesting piece of wood which on uh, I'd made this guy right here on a, a piece of cottonwood bark that was pretty neat and it was pretty jagged so the wood kind of had split so I gave him, was able to split the beard in spots and it was really neat. 
So right here, you can just draw the beard any way you want, okay? Over here, we're just going to give him different beards, hairs, okay? Uh, like I said, you could do this any way you want. You could just follow the whole beard down, but this will be a little bit different than what you're used to. We'll break it up and make them a little more interesting. Now he's going to need some hair. So, I'm just going to bring this down. Not much. And animate him a little bit. And up in here. Bring this around. And just kind of let it flow any way you want. All right. And that would be all hair. You can put your lines in any way you want. Like I said, it depends on the piece of wood you have. This is just an idea for a face. So definitely don't think it's going to be set in stone in any way. Because it's definitely going to depend on the piece of wood that you have. Okay. But according to the wood, this face will look 50 different ways. You know. Of course, his mustache lines. And I'll show you the picture of how I use this on a, a really gnarly piece of cottonwood bark and the face come out. Really, really nice. But it was pretty much the same type of design, you know. It's the same face, but it depends on the wood, you know. If this was your wood type of thing, you know, that you're carving him on, and it was, say, a piece of cottonwood bark, he would be set inside, you know. You know, and this is all set inside the cottonwood bark, and all of this out here, the rough bark, would be uh, higher than the actual carving. It would be, you know, stuffed down inside. So that right there is going to be the face for today. And at the end of the video, I will show you how I use this face on the piece of cottonwood bark. You're right, it's the same type of design, same type of mustache. The beard, like I said, I had to follow the wood, but this is the same concept, all right? And now you have a start point and grab a piece of cottonwood bark and try carving it out. All right, so I'll go to the clip of the carved one, the carved piece, and I will see you in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if it's your first time seeing us. Give me your comments, always appreciate them, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.